Welcome back. Soccer fans in San Diego are counting down the months until San Diego's Major League Soccer team hits the field. As excitement builds, we wanted to learn more about soccer in San Diego. My co-anchor Wally Aliu is live from the soccer field at Salt Creek Community Park in Eastlake. Wally. And Kimberly, I got to tell you, these soccer fields are actually one of the busiest soccer fields in the South Bay. So you don't have to go far here to find soccer fans. And we have seen a ton of them. They're practicing behind me. We've seen several teams coming and going, doing some drills, putting in that work. Got some coaches there blowing the whistle, making sure they are working hard. And a lot of these folks, although young, are big MLS fans. And our MLS team, the San Diego FC, will kick off their season in 2025. This has been a dream for decades for a lot of these young folks and big soccer fans in our area. Ever since back in 1996, when then MLS Commissioner Doug Logan said that America's finest city was a prime candidate for an expansion team. Flash forward to earlier this year, and these soccer fans, both big and small, couldn't agree more. Oh my gosh, it's it's about time. How excited are you guys that, that there's going to be a brand new team for San Diego? Really excited. Yeah, because LA always steals all our major league teams. Yeah. Like they took the Chargers and the Clippers. People love soccer here, so I'm super excited. I think it's a little overdue. I think we should have got a team a while ago, but I'm, I'm excited. People do love soccer here. Well, earlier this month, the team unveiled its name and logo. The soccer ball image is made up of 18 lines. Feel free to count them if you want. It signifies the 18 cities in San Diego County. Here's what else we know about the team. It will be playing at Snapdragon Stadium. Its training facility will be on tribal land. The first team to do so. It will be where the Pine Glen Golf Course and Singing Hills Hotel are now. Its groundbreaking ceremony is set for two weeks from today. And as we prepare for a new chapter for soccer in San Diego, we do indeed are having to say goodbye as we close another chapter. Saying goodbye to the San Diego Loyal after four strong seasons. Loyal Chairman Andrew Vasilideus announced the end of the road back in August, saying that for months the team had been looking for a permanent home but that did not work out. Earlier today, we spoke to Loyal coach Landon Donovan, a soccer legend himself, about the end of the Loyal and his hope for the future of soccer in San Diego. I don't know how you quantify the impact we had vis-a-vis -vis the Wave and San Diego FC, but there's no question there was an impact in even um, just our new fans that we brought into the sport over the last four years that will now want to be a part of what the wave are doing or what San Diego FC are doing. So that's a source of pride. Um, you know, the, the reality now is the bar has been set really high for, for wave and for SDFC. And so our fans certainly that were loyal fans have high expectations as to what a real club looks like. The bar has indeed been set high, but the question now is, will San Diego FC meet those expectations? We'll hear some of the hopes from these young fans coming up in our next half hour. Kimberly, back to you. All right. We look forward to that. Thank you, Wale.